Hello students, how are you? I think you all are fine. This is Lavan Shwakar. Welcome back to my today's class. Basically, today I am going to conduct a class um, on chapter 3 and this is the fifth class on this chapter. And you know all about the name of the chapter is the solar system at the end the earth. So dear student, before the start of our today's class, uh, I am going to show, show our today's learning outcome. So after the class, you will be able to say about the motion of the earth, then you will be say about the diurnal motion, then you will be say about the annual motion of the earth, then you will be, uh, you will be able to describe about the leap year, then you will be able to describe about the reason of occurring day and night. And at last, you will be able to describe about the reasons of the warning and oxing of, of day and night of the earth. Okay. So, dear students, let's get started of our today's class. At first, I am going to talk about uh, the axis line of the earth. So, at first, I am going to show a picture to you. So this is the pictures of the axis line. Basically, axis line is an imagined line at the north to south over the uh, center of the earth on which the earth turns itself. Okay, so let's have a look on the screen of the definitions of the axis line of the earth. So this is the definition. The line imagined at the north south over the center of the earth is called the axis line. So dear students, now I am going to show a picture, okay. So uh, this is the picture so, uh, of the orbit of the earth. Basically, uh, orbit, uh, orbit is, is the way of the earth on which the earth moves around the sun, okay. So <clears throat> this is another picture, uh, okay. And this line is called the orbit, orbit line of the earth and the earth it uses this line uh, to move around the sun okay i think you have got uh, what is called orbit so orbit is the way of the earth by which the earth rounds the sun so dear students now i am going to talk about the motion of the earth so what is called the motion of the earth at first you have to understand that our earth is regulated by the gravity and it turns itself on its own axis uh, following the sun in, uh, in its point uh, through a particular orbit okay so this is called the motion of the earth so now uh, i am going to show you the definition of the motion of the earth so this is the definitions of the motion of the earth the earth being regulated by the gravity rotated on its own axis following the sun its point and moves around the sun through particular orbit this is the uh, this is the earth's motions or the motion of the earth so dear student now i am going to show you some uh, some pictures and these pictures will help you to uh, understand uh, about the motion of the earth uh, uh, more smoothly so this is the picture and here uh, we can see the earth is moving from west to east uh, on its own axis okay so this information basically the earth's uh, the earth's moves uh, uh, turns itself on its own axis west to east and this information is very very important for the for the mcq question so the information is that the earth rotates on its on its axis from the west to east regularly and here i am going to uh, show you some pictures first picture is that so we can uh, we can imagine the, the uh, this object um, as the earth okay and our earth uh, earth uh, turns itself like this uh, object so <clears throat> And this is uh, this is uh, uh, this this is the practical scenario of the Earth, and the orange color line is called the axis of the Earth, and our Earth uh, turns itself on its own axis uh, from west to east. Then I'm going to show you another picture, and uh, and here we can uh, imagine this object as the sun. And we can uh, we can 
imagine this object uh, as our earth and you know our earth earth moves around the sun uh, around the sun on its own orbit okay and this is the most practical uh, practical scenario and here we can see the line of orbit of the earth and the uh, and the earth uh, turn uh, and the earth moves around the sun from east to west okay so that's all about the motion of the earth the earth being regulated by the gravity the earth revolves the sun okay so i think you have got my point now i am going to talk about the types of the motion of the earth basically there are two types one is called the diurnal motion and another is called the annual motion so at first i am going to discuss about the diurnal motion so this is the pictures of the diurnal motion so what is called the diurnal motion okay and and we uh, we all know the earth uh, the earth turns itself on its own axis uh, and to uh, to complete on rotation uh, rotation the uh, uh, on its own axis the earth needs 24 hours so basically the earth <coughs> needs 20 23 uh, uh, 23 hours uh, hours 55 uh, second uh, 55 56 minutes and 4 seconds okay and such motions of the earth is called the dur diurnal motions now i am going to show you the definitions of the diurnal motion so this is the definition the earth rotates on its axis from the west to the east regularly it rotates in this way almost 24 hours or a day the time for on complete rotation is 24 23 hours 56 minutes and 4 seconds this motion of the earth is called the diurnal motion so this is the perfect definitions of the diurnal motion and i have taken these definitions from your textbook and you can use this definition in your answer script so now i am going to show some information regarding the diurnal motion first information is that the time for on complete rotations of earth is called a, a solar day so what is called a solar day so this is the answer of a solar day so next information is that the importance of the diurnal motions basically the eve and flow takes places in the earth by attractions of the moon and the sun due to the diurnal motion in my next class uh, i will discuss about the eve and flow okay and second thing is that besides occurring day day and night is happening due to the diurnal motion so today basically uh, I, I will be discussing about about the occur of day and night a uh, night due to the diurnal motion okay so <clears throat> here uh, here we can see the earth the earth the earth uh, turns will on its exist lines uh, uh, following the following the sun in, uh, in, on its forms okay so thing is that we part of the earth gets the light uh, from the sun first uh, will be day and which part of the earth does not get light from the uh, from the sun uh, will night so this is the uh, this is the reason of occurring day and night of the earth okay so let's have a look uh, about uh, some information regarding occurring day and night first information is that the earth moves around the sun continuously on its own axis from west to east then to rotate on its own axis the earth needs 24 hours uh, 24 hours that means our solar day we have learned already then day and night is happen due to diurnal motion okay this is another information regarding uh, the occur of day and night and next which spots gets the sunlight is day at that place and last information is that which spot does not get the sunlight is night at that place so that's all about the occur of day and night of the earth so dear students now i am going to discuss about the next part of our today's class so basically i am going to discuss about the annual motion so at first i am going to show a picture to you so this is the pictures and 
uh, in these pictures and we can see our earth uh, uh, moves around the sun okay uh, on its own orbit basically uh, uh, basically a semicircular orbit and uh, uh, to complete on round on uh, on round the earth needs uh, 20, uh, 365 days and uh, the uh, and such mo motions of the earth to complete on uh, on round of the sun is called the annual motion so let's have a look on the screen of the definitions of the annual motion so this is the definition the earth moves around the sun continuously on its own axis through a certain semicircular orbit to a certain directions and in a certain duration such rotations of the earth to the east from the west is called the annual motions now i am uh, going to show you some information regarding the annual motion first information is that the earth moves around the sun in a speed of 30 30 km per second and this is very very crucial uh, crucial information regarding the annual information especially this is important uh, important uh, for mcq question then the time required for the earth to make one complete rotation around the sun is on year it is called the solar year and in my previous uh, slide and uh, we have learned about a solar day and in this slide and uh, we are going to learn about uh, what, uh, about the solar year basically one solar year means 365 days because uh, within these days the earth uh, uh, the earth uh, can complete on round uh, on on ra ra round uh, uh, round of the sun okay so next the importance of the annual uh, motions the warning and waxing of the day day and night and changes of seasons happen in the earth in consequence of the annual motion so dear students so basically today i am going to uh, going to give a lectures on the warning and waxing of the day and night okay and uh, uh, the uh, and the changes of the seasons i will i will discuss about in my next lecture so dear students this is the pictures and these pictures will help you to uh, to understand the solar uh, solar year and here we can see uh, the sun and the earth okay and at the same time we can see uh, the orbit uh, uh, the orbit of the earth so dear student here we can see the earth uh, moves around the sun from the east to west to orbit the sun the earth needs 365 days 5 hours 48 minutes 47 seconds okay the solar day is calculated on 60 365 days and then the remain time is added in the leaf year so you can ask me what is called the leaf year so now i am going to discuss about the leaf year okay so this is leaf year so what is called leaf year and we know the earth needs to, uh, to round the sun uh around 365 uh, five day uh, five days five hours 48 minutes 47 seconds but only 365 days is counted as the solar solar year so the remain time will be uh, added uh, every four years so every four years uh, every years uh, one day will be added with the month of february uh, so the date uh, of the month of february will be 29 so <clears throat> this is called the leap year so now i am going to read out uh, read out about the leap year okay to moves around the sun the earth takes 365 days 5 hours 48 minutes 47 seconds as the solar year is calculated on 65 days so every fourth english year is calculated with an additional on day with 165 days in that year february processes 29 instead of 28 this year is called the leap year so dear students and just you can use these lines in your answer script and leap year is very very important for comprehensive questions okay <clears throat> next <clears throat> now i'm going to discuss about the reasons that make days and nights longer and stronger okay so dear students to understand uh, the reasons uh, reasons that make days 
days uh, days and nights longer and strong <coughs> stronger uh, we have to uh, we have to discuss about the four positions positions of the earth on its own orbit okay so first of all um, the position of the earth on june 21st then the position of the earth on its orbit on uh, on september 23 then the positions of the earth on its orbit on sub on december 22 then the position of the earth on its orbit on march 21 so at first i am going to discuss about uh, june 21st so what is happened uh, on june 21st so <clears throat> this is the picture so we know well the upper upper part of the equator line is called the northern hemisphere and the lower part of the equator line is called the southern hemisphere so what is happened uh, happened uh, uh, on june 21st okay basically on that on that day the sun uh, the sun uh, falls falls uh, uh, falls over the topic of cancer's lengthways lengthways means 90 degree angles okay so what will be happened uh, happened in uh, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere so dear student at first you have to understand the topic of cancer is situated in the northern part so uh, in, uh, on that day the on that day uh, in northern hemisphere that day will be longest and the night will be shortest and it will be just opposite in southern hemisphere that means the day will be short, short uh, shortest and night will be longest so this is the thing on this day at noon the sunlight falls over uh, 23.5 degree north latitude lengthways okay so in northern hemisphere the day on this date becomes the longest in the north hemisphere and the night becomes the shortest so what will be happen in southern hemisphere the day on this date becomes the shortest in the north hemisphere and the night becomes the longest so, so that's all about june 21st now i'm going to discuss about the position of the earth on september 23 so what uh, what is happened in uh, uh, on on September twenty three? Uh, <clears throat> basically, uh, the the sun uh, falls uh, over uh, over uh, the equator lines. Not basically not only the equator line, but also topic of Cancer, topic of Capricorns, North Pole and South Pole equally. So that is that is why uh, the uh, the uh, day and day and night will be equal both in the northern hemisphere and in southern hemisphere. So on this day, sunlight falls lengthways towards the equator. Day and night on this day remain equal in northern hemisphere. At the same time, day and night on this day remain equal in southern hemisphere. So that's all about. Uh, of the position of the earth on september 23 now i'm going to discuss about december 22nd so what is happened on uh, on 20 on on december 22nd basically on uh, on that day the sun fall, uh, falls over the tropic of capricorn directly on length or uh, 90 degree angles uh, uh, so, so in southern hemisphere, uh, the day will be uh, longest and the night will be shortest and it will be just opposite in the northern hemisphere. That means uh, day will be shortest and night will be longest. The sunlight falls lengthways uh, towards the Tropic of Capricorn on this day. So the day uh, the day on this date becomes the shortest in the north hemisphere and the night becomes longest and it will be just opposite in the southern hemisphere the day on this date becomes the longest in the north hemisphere and the night becomes the shortest so that's all about the positions of the earth on december 22 next i am going to talk about mars 21 so what is happened uh, on mars 21 so first of all, uh, <clears throat> first of all, the the sun falls over the uh, uh, the equator lines 
uh, it will it will like lengthwise uh, uh, or hundred uh, or ninety degree angles. Not only ninety uh, on the equatorial line, lines line, but also the topic of Cancer, topic of Capricorn, North Pole, and South Pole equally. So on that day, on that day, the day and night will be equal both in the uh, in Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. So this is the thing. On this day, the sunlight falls lengthwise towards the equator. A day and night on this day remain equal in northern hemisphere. At the same time, day and night on this day remain equal in southern hemisphere. Okay. So, dear students, uh, <clears throat> among the th uh, among the 365 days uh, in a solar year, uh, there are only two days. Uh, and uh, on 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 these two days the day and night uh, will be uh, will remain equal for about the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere okay so now i am now, now I, I am going to start the next part of our today's class this is the evaluation part and here i am going to ask some question to you first of all what is called the earth motions and you know the earth is regulated by the gravitations and it turns its, its will on on its own axis following the sun on its point uh, through the uh, through a, a particular orbit and and this uh, this motion of the earth is called the motion of the earth then what is called the orbit of the earth this is very easy basically orbit is the way of the earth on which the earth, earth moves are uh, moves around the sun okay then what is called the leap year and you know 365 days is called the called on solar year so every five every four years one day will be added with the with the with the dates with the day, days of the month february okay so <clears throat> so this is called the leap year okay in in leap year uh the days of of the month february will be 29 29 days then what do you mean by annual motions and you know uh, the earth moves around the sun or uh, on uh, on its own orbit and sun uh, uh, sorry the earth moves around the sun on its own orbit and the earth needs uh, 365 days 5 hours uh, 48 minutes 47 seconds so uh, the motions this mo uh, this such motions of the earth is called the annual motion then what is called the solar year 365 day, days is called the solar year okay so dear students thank you very much for watching me with your kind patient if you have any inquiry and question regarding my today's class you can put your comments uh, in, uh, in comment box and i will give your uh, give the answer of your questions Okay, so dear student, thank you very much for watching me again. Uh, next time, see you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz.